Hi everyone, this is Teacher Chain of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Music! Kung saan pag-usapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagha! Our Shensh Amazing episode for today will be discussing air pollution. Kailan natin masasabi na polluted ang air? It is when large amounts of harmful gases and tiny solid particles, just like dust, soot, and bacteria, get into the air that the air becomes dangerous for people as well as other living things. Galing sa burning materials ang oxides of nitrogen kagaya ng hydrocarbons. Ilan sa mga halimbawa nito ay ang nitrogen monoxide or nitrous oxide and nitrogen dioxide. The next air pollutants are oxides of sulfur and carbon monoxide. The concentration of carbon monoxide and sulfur dioxide rises with the rush hour traffic from motor vehicles and industries. Carbon monoxide in the air comes mostly from motor vehicles just like our cars or jeepneys. While sulfur dioxide comes from the exhaust of industries. The last air pollutant in our list are particulates. Particulates are tiny bits of solid matter kagaya ng dust and smoke or liquid droplets from condensed water vapor. Sila ay suspended in the air for long periods of time. And the concentration of particulates rises with the rush hour traffic. Aside from that, certain industrial areas like cement plant sites also have unusual high concentrations of dust na mula sa cement dust. And another area which is rich in particulates are coastal areas which have high levels of salt particles in the air. Unfortunately, because of air pollutants and other substances such as CFCs or chlorofluorocarbons, halons, Methyl bromide, methyl chloroform, and carbon tetrachloride cause the depletion of our stratospheric ozone or ozone layer. Ozone depletion is the gradual thinning of the Earth's ozone layer in the upper atmosphere because of the chemical compounds kagaya ng chlorine or bromine. 
it is usually seen in the polar regions, especially sa may Antarctica na part. It is a major environmental problem because it increases the amount of ultraviolet or UV radiation, which in return increases the risk of skin cancer, eye cataracts, genetic problems, and immune system damage. This picture shows the status of the ozone layer from 2014 until the recent 2019. And for the information of everyone, 2019's ozone hole is the smallest since it was discovered in 1982. This is thanks to the abnormal weather patterns in the upper atmosphere over Antarctica that dramatically limited ozone depletion sometime between September and October 2019. Materials containing the substances which harm our ozone are commonly found in our homes. Halimbawa nito ay ang mga propellant and refrigerators, air conditioners, hairnet sprays, shaving creams, More and more organic matter, ang amount ng carbon dioxide in the air can increase so much that most of the heat is prevented from escaping to outer space. Carbon dioxide along with water vapor, methane, nitrogen oxide, and CFCs contribute to this phenomenon. This may result to an unusual increase in temperature, which greatly contributes to global warming or the increase in the average temperature of the Earth. If global warming is prolonged, it may cause climate change. The effects of climate change can be seen today. Halimbawa, the sea levels rise. There are also extreme rains which cause too much flooding. And forest fires are becoming more common nowadays. Let's have another trivia. Did you know that our world leaders are actually doing something to fight global warming? The Kyoto Protocol of 1997 is a legally binding international agreement among members of the United Nations. Its aim is is to fight global warming and achieve the stabilization of greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere to shift global climate conditions. One of Kyoto Protocol's most important features is that it compels 37 industrialized nations to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions to an average of 5%. So far, Meron ng 191 nations who have signed and ratified the Kyoto Protocol. The lone industrialized country that refuses to ratify the said document is the United States because they defend that signing the Kyoto Protocol will greatly affect the United States economy. 
Before we end our short Shansh Amazing episode, let's have a quick recap of the things we have discussed. In this Shansh Amazing episode, we talked about air pollution. We discussed the air pollutants, the depletion of the stratospheric ozone, the causes which are CFCs and the results which are the ozone holes, enhanced greenhouse effect, global warming, and we discussed the Kyoto Protocol. That ends our Shansh Amazing episode for today. We hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!